Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. In the last lesson, we discussed the synthesis of pyridine via condensation reactions. Click on the i button on top right of this video to watch it. See the description for the links of other related topics of organic chemistry. In this video, we shall learn the synthesis of pyridine via rearrangement reactions. Certain substituted pyridines can be obtained via rearrangement of pyridine enoxides. The reaction is known as Boyekelheid reaction or via rearrangement of an alternative heterocycle system is called the Siamisian Dennest reaction. Boyekelheid reaction. This reaction involves the treatment of pyridine enoxides with acylating agents to form rearranged products. Traditionally, the rearrangement occurs at the alpha position, but oxygen migration could also occur on the alkyl chain of substituents attached to the gamma position. This process requires the activation of pyridine enoxides by electrophilic agents such as acetic anhydride as shown in the reaction. In some cases, phosphorus pentoxide, trifluoroacetic acid or tosyl chloride are also used. Although the reaction mechanism is not fully understood, the ion pair mechanism is now the generally accepted explanation for this reaction. And when R is a neopentyl group, the reaction gave rise to the corresponding alkene, further confirming the ion pair mechanism. The Boekelheid reaction was applied by the Nikolov group in the synthesis of a model system of the thiopeptide antibiotic that is thiostrepton. The tetrahydroquinoline was converted into the enoxide by M-chloroperoxybenzoic acid oxidation followed by treatment with trifluoroacetic acid and then hydrolysis to afford an important intermediate alcohol as a diastereomeric mixture. An iron binding agent pyrimidine was synthesized starting from the bis homophenylalanine via the Boekelheid reaction with trifluoroacetic acid and hydrolysis to yield the advanced intermediate. Ticolubent is a leukotriene receptor antagonist that exhibits anti inflammatory activities. Recently, the first asymmetric Boekelheid rearrangement was reported using Moisture's acyl chloride as the activator. Thus, treatment of enoxide with moisture's acid chloride using a triethanolamine as a base at minus 78 degrees centigrade in 2 propanol allowed the fast and complete rearrangement to the corresponding esters with an 88 is to 12 diastereomeric ratio. Saponification with lithium hydroxide led to the enantiomerically enriched 1,2-pyridinyl alkyl alcohol derivative. Microwave irradiation at 50 degrees centigrade, 240 watts and for 20 minutes gave pyrrolidinyl or piperidinyl compounds at higher yields. The next reaction is Siamisian Dennett rearrangement. This reaction involves the addition of an intermediate dihalocarbene generated from haloforms and a strong base to a pyrrole to form an unstable dihalogenocyclopropane which rearranges to a 3-halogenopyridine such as 3-chloropyridine. The reaction was expanded for indoles to provide 3-chloroquinolines. The yield was only in 20%. Yields can be significantly improved by using a phase transfer catalyst such as benzyl triethyl ammonium chloride and tetra n butyl ammonium hydrogen sulfate. Despite its rare usage, the Siamisian Dennett reaction is the only way to date to make C bridged calixipyridine. Four sequential treatments of calyx 4 pyrrole with sodium trichloroacetate result in all four possible geometric isomers in 26% overall yield. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the synthesis of pyridine via rearrangement reactions. In the next lesson, we will discuss the synthesis of pyridine via transformation of other heterocycles. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.